asking about the control of jinn. Can the jinn possess humans? And can the shiu, the big shiu, control these jinn? As for the possession of jinn to human bodies, this is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, and the majority of the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they all approve of this happening. However, it is not in 90% of the cases true. In 90% of those who claim to be possessed, they're not possessed. They're just convincing themselves that they're possessed. As Muslims nowadays, we have a tendency to blame everything for our failure. So, if my wife is nagging and she's always shouting at me and demanding money, I say, she's possessed, she has shame. If my child fails at school, I say, oh, my neighbor gave him evil eye. If my boss uh, uh, sacks me for my job, and I said, this is black magic. My people are back home, they're, they're, they're doing black magic for me. And if uh, uh, anything happens to my car, this is envy. So everything that we fail in, we tend not to blame ourselves, we tend to flame this uh, supernatural powers that we don't see. Possession is there. And this is done by the jinn, especially for those who do not offer their dhikr. They do not say the supplications in the morning and the evening. They do not pray on time. They come to them. However, the claim that grand scholars or grand muftis or sheikh have control over the jinn, whoever tells you that he has control over the jinn, he's a big liar. And he's a sorcerer. And the best sign to know a sorcerer is when you go to a sheikh, long beard, mashallah, the full nine yards, and he tells you, <laughs> yeah, he with a short thaw and everything, mashallah. And he tells you, um, yes, uh, what do you complain of? He says, sheikh, I have these feelings, depression. Say, okay, what's the name of your mother? It's not going to be goddamn business. <laughs> so, no, 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 I have to know your name, mother's name. Okay, my mother's name is uh, Nafisa or whatever. I said, okay, wait, you have evil eye. How did you know? I said, yes, I know this is comes out of experience. Some of the brothers go to Sheikh who recite, they say, he's Qari, he's very, no, he's very well known, he's very good, mashallah. And the Sheikh hooks his iPad into you and says, okay, yes, you have black magic and it's your aunt in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> what, what is this shit? MashaAllah, it's like computer skills. It's plugs it into you. Said, ah, now I can know. Yeah, yeah. You have code three, four, E, X, Y. Yeah, you have. This is serious, man. <laughs> He's a sorcerer. There is no special powers given to Sheikh who does Rukia. All what the Sheikh does, besides Ayatul Kursi, Fatiha, Qurullah, Qurullah, Nas, few selected verses, and that is it. If there's anything into you, it's going to speak or come out. But he does not have the power to tell you, you have this or that. Anyone could, anyone claiming to control over the jinn is a liar. Our Prophet himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that while praying, a jinn came up to me, trying to startle me. So I grabbed him by the neck and I uh, strangled him until I felt the coldness of his saliva on my hand and while praying because they saw the Prophet moving and praying. So he said, had it not been for Sulaiman's request to Allah, peace be upon him, Prophet Sulaiman, he requested to Allah Azza to grant him uh, control over the jinn that cannot be given to anyone after him. He said the Prophet, had it not been for my brother Sulaiman's request, I would have tied him to a pillar of the masjid so that the children would play with him. Imagine, to play with what? With the jinn. So don't laugh. Don't laugh, laugh. They cannot even harm you. They cannot do anything to you. As long as you recite Ayat al Kursi and you believe in Allah. Therefore, no one. And the claim to say that, this is nonsense. This sheikh doesn't know what he's talking about. There is bad jinn and there is good jinn. I control the good jinn. MashaAllah, how do you know that you're controlling a good jinn? Does he have an ID uh, tag saying, I'm good jinn? <laughs>
And why, mashallah, they're coming to assist you and you can control them. Why Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, who are far greater than you and me, did not control them? So this is an indication that this guy is a lot of baloney.